Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are all doing very well. If you're new here, my name's Liz. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any time I upload new videos. As you can tell by the title, I'm back with another try and haul. So I didn't plan to do a back to back try and haul. However, this parcel arrived quite late. So I'll put another video out and then put this out, it'll be too late, you know? And this collection is selling fast. This try and haul is the H&M slash Raban collection. Formerly known as Paco Raban, I believe they rebranded. So this collaboration was quite diverse. They had a range for women's wear, they had a range in men's wear, and it actually had a range for home. Everything that I picked out was from the women's wear section. So if you want anything from the men's wear or home wear, click the link below, it will be a link to the collection. And hopefully there's still pieces out there that you can grab. So this collection definitely came in time for the party slash holiday season. Lots of items that you can take on a night out and also a lot of items to keep you warm since we're now in winter. So there was coats, there were scarves, there was dresses, there's tops, there's trousers. There's a lot of metallic pieces, I've seen gold, there was silvers, there was bold colors, I've seen greens, I've seen purple, I've seen pinks. There was also lots of prints. Lots of prints that I've seen were definitely 70s inspired prints. I also saw some leopard print, there was some monochrome colors. Unfortunately, by the time I remember the collection, was out, it was 10 a.m. And by the time I went on there, a lot of the pieces that I wanted were sold out. <laughs> but it is what it is. I was still able to grab a few pieces and I'm here to show you guys what I grabbed. As I said in my previous video, I used to enjoy being you guys' as guinea pig. So I'm here to continue being your guinea pig. The whole reason of me doing this try on hauls is not for you guys to tell me there's so many other places to shop. I know, I always want to harness or jump on collaborations so that you guys know whether you should save your coins or make the splurge on collections that are popular or out at a given time. So as always, I want you guys in the comment section down below to let me know which items to keep and which items to return, i.e. which items to buy and which items to bin, okay? So I'm gonna read out what able to grab and I'm gonna try them on here so you guys can see what it looks like on the model and see what it looks like on an everyday person like myself who is petite and curvy. So 90% of the items I got in a medium and small. So this is the huge box that all the items came in. This is quite heavy, but I'm gonna get around to trying it on for you guys. So the first item that I was able to grab was this poplin shirt. This definitely isn't my kind of style, it was giving me GOT vibes, you know? But I still wanted to, you know, give it a try and see if it looked good on me. But yeah, let me know what you think. Evidently, I felt like a choir conductor in this. The fit is quite loose. The neck area is a little bit more tighter, but I'm not too sure how it looks on me. I feel like this is for the high fashion babes, which I'm not. <laughs> Next item I was able to grab is this jersey puff skirt dress. Again, this is something quite different to what I normally reach out for. It looked cute on the model. Hopefully it looks cute on me too. <laughs> so the first thing I noticed about this dress was how warm I felt in it, which means it's perfect for this season. Quality wise, it felt amazing. I liked the way it fit. It wasn't too tight on the neck area. And overall, I felt comfortable in it. So the next, item, the next piece is definitely in line for cold season. I, what I picked up was this embellished mohair blend vest top along with the embellished mohair blend cardigan. These two were sold separately, they're not together. However, you can mix and match and get different looks out of this. This is very cute, it's pink, very girly, very much me. And yeah, as usual, let me know what you think. So even though this is a crop top, it was really warm, very cute and chic, quality wise felt amazing. However, with the cardigan, even though they're the same material, I felt itchy wearing this. So if I was to keep this, I will definitely have to wear something long sleeve underneath. So next item is this glittery knit mini skirt. This definitely gave me 70s vibe. Um, I didn't realise there was actually a slit on the side. I know they also had flared trousers in this same print. But if I'd known there was a split, I would have probably got the trousers to go together to see what it looks like. Hopefully it's not, you know, as wild without the bottoms. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think. So this felt really well made, but I was wrong guys. You need to get this with the bottoms. The dress isn't necessarily a dress. I mean, maybe it could be a dress on holiday. But yeah, get it with the trousers so you're not looking like me. But I found this cute, what do you think? The next item I picked out is this jersey buckle detail skirt and this buckle detail t-shirt. These two were sold separately, they weren't sold together. Let me know what you think. <laughs> 
So in my mind, I thought the top and skirt went together, but it didn't. So I just grabbed a random top, which I know doesn't go with this skirt. But the skirt actually felt like a silky material compared to the top, which felt like an everyday t-shirt. Nothing special, but either way, I thought they both looked good, but not together. The next item was this leopard print buckle detail dress. I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely giving me Kate Slater. Is it Kate Slater? In EastEnders? I think so. Whoever it is, there's this babe on EastEnders who would have loved this outfit. Not necessarily so much my style, but I definitely wanted to grab something from the leopard print range and this was what was available at the time. But yeah, hopefully it still looks cute on. So the quality of this felt good. I also felt very warm in this. In terms of the structure, and the style, I feel it aged me, but let me know if you think it looked good on my figure. So next item was this embellished jersey top. I like the colour, not so much the style, but again, I wanted to step outside my comfort zone and see what it looked like on. But you guys, let me know what you think. <laughs> so out of everything I tried quality-wise, this one was not the best. It just felt very flimsy, but I'm not sure if that's due to the material. In terms of style, I guess that's down to preference, but I think it looked better on the model compared to me. Last but not the least, is definitely something that's just out there. Although Michael Jackson wouldn't wear this, I don't know why this is reminding me of Michael Jackson, but it's this sequined trousers and crop top. This is very bold for me. This, but again, try to step out of the comfort zone, try it on pieces that I may not necessarily reach out for and see what it looks like on my figure. So yeah, the feeling was the same once I put this outfit on. It was very extra. <laughs> the top actually felt comfortable, despite the fact that it's sequenced there's linen inside so it doesn't itch trousers were perfect lengthwise and even the way it fits my waist area was perfect right unfortunately it's still very much allowed for me color and style wise so i'm not too sure but let me know what you think so, but that's everything that i was able to grab most things were sold out if you want a piece that you not no longer available i guess the best option is to go in store or go in the shops and see if you can find some of these pieces. But yeah, that's the end of this try and haul. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Let me know which items you guys think I should keep, which items you guys think I should return, and of course, which items you guys think are flattering or not flattering on me. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any video requests and I'll get around to doing them. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.